lovelies. Let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile. That's what I like to say. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to change a lamp into a gothic Halloween lamp. And it's with Adlin. Let me tell you a little bit of something about them. If you're looking for lighting for indoors, outdoors, Adlin is the place to go. I'm telling you, they have beautiful lighting. They came quick and I was very pleased with the packaging. Very nicely packaged, easy to assemble, instructions inside, and they all come with a beautiful light bulb. They are compatible light bulbs with any one of them. You can choose right here when you order and have whatever light bulb you want to add into your lamp. A little something about Adlon was established in 2012 and has been focusing on LED lighting products for nine years, guys. Committed to providing high quality products at a reasonable prices to provide you with quality service and shopping experience. So go check out Adlon. If you're looking for lights for your home, indoor, outdoor, you're sure to find something from Adlon Lovelies to illuminate your home. DIY number one. I chose the floor lamp with the three cage lampshades. And it comes well packaged, like I had said in the beginning, well packaged. And it comes with everything you will need. Easy assemble. It took less than five minutes for a handsome devil to put this lamp together. Now each lampshade came in with each light bulb, their own light bulb, and they were packaged individually. As you can tell, wrapped. You get the L wrenches that you're going to need in the package with the instructions. The base for the lamp and it's extremely heavy so that was great because you want a heavy base to hold that lamp up right so great quality now i'm going to use my Krylon spray paint in flat matte black and i'm going to spray paint my skull this skull came from the 99 cent store in a package where you put yard skeletons in the ground that's what this is now, I spray painted it after it was fully dry. I got my favorite, you know, this is my favorite, Folk Art by Plaid Treasure Gold. And I don't put a heavy coat on it. I put a light coat because I want that black to show through. So after my skull dried, I did spray some of that Mod Podge sealant spray on it. And that helps it glow so beautifully it's shiny that gold and it just makes it look so high end so now the spike we are just going to wiggle it around and then after i wiggle it around some i just pop it right out simple as that and then i just get my scissors and i clean it up a little bit around we're going to open up that round circle on the bottom just so it fits on the top of our lamp i am going to be using this plaid it's a wood burning tool, but I use it for all kinds of things. Careful because it gets hot really quick. But if you don't have this tool, that is fine because you can also use the tip of your glue gun. And when it gets really hot, you just get the tip of it and you just hold it right there on the round, like on the plastic and just move it around and it'll melt the plastic. But for me, I'm going to be using my wood burning tool. So as you can tell, I'm just going to go around and it's hot. So I just go around it and keep circling it until it's the size that I want. So we're going to put the skull aside for now and move to the next process. And that is with the lampshades that came with the lamp. You get three. They're like little I don't know, they're wire lampshades. They're supposed to look kind of like gated, like, I don't know, they're really cute. Uh, and this lace here is my absolute favorite lace to use when I am going for a gothic look. I love this lace, great quality. 
it's from BB craft I will leave the link in my description box and I use this for a lot of projects and you get quite a bit of it so what I did was I just wrapped it around to see where I want it and now we're just gonna cut it right there from right between those little circles all the way down and you're gonna cut three of them I did not measure because I just wrapped it around and seen where I wanted to cut my lace now you see me putting a little bead of hot glue right there on the edge of that top lamp on the top of the shade and that's just to hold my lace in place so my glue can dry and I'm using the Aileen's I call it Aileen's I hope I'm saying it right but I'm using the tacky glue you can find this at any store craft store Walmart carries it I believe Target carries it and I know sometimes the Dollar Tree will have it there also so all I'm doing was just putting a dab of glue a little dot just to hold like I said the lace in place as I'm gluing and it gives that glue time to dry and it does dry clear so that's what I love about it also is once it's dried you don't see it the gate I don't know I call it a fence a gate but it does kind of look like fishnet stockings right <laughs> So now I'm adding some where the seam is so that it just closes the lace up together. And I put a dab of glue, like I said, to hold it while the glue dries. Now this lace I got from Joanne's Fabric. And I absolutely fell in love when I seen this. It kind of reminded me of like Cathedral, you know, like see how it how it goes to the bottom, how it points to the bottom and then it has the circle in the center. It's just so beautiful. So I'm gonna do the same process that we did to the top. We're gonna do to the bottom. We're just gonna add a bead of glue to hold that lace in place while the glue, tacky glue dries. So I do this to all three shades to the lamp and that's it. That's all I'm doing is adding this. I really think I should add little beads. What do you think? Little pearl beads or little crystal beads. I view little teardrop crystal beads on the bottom hanging like, you know, chandelier looking. I call it chandelier looking. Let me know. Should I add a little bit of beads to the bottom or crystals or something? That lace needs to relax. I know it's a, you know, in time it will relax. On the bottom but I really do want to add some crystals to it give it that chandelier -y look but look at my skull I ended up gluing it to the top of my lamp because I'm not removing it you can you don't have to glue it you can just pull it off after Halloween if you want but I want a gothic look for my lamp and so I'm I glued my skull right to the lamp and I love that this lamp has a foot on and off switch so all you do is just press it with your toe boom, it turns on, and then press it again, boom, it turns off. So easy, love it. I use this lamp every day. So you can leave the lamp just as is. You can add whatever kind of lace you want to it, ribbon, whatever you want to do, uh, little crystals to the bottom of it, or you can add different laces, I don't, I just absolutely fell in love with it. And these light bulbs, oh my goodness, stunning. Light bulbs are stunning. Look at that. And here's the look with my Halloween look. I put some creepy cloth all the way around, just hanging from it. And oh, it gave it such a beautiful, fun Halloween look. So for Halloween, you can leave it like that. You don't have to put the skull on. Or you can just leave it with the lace and after Halloween take all that off and have just your lamp with the lace on it or just by itself the way it came. Either way, this lamp is absolutely gorgeous. I'm totally, totally in love with it. So what do you think? Should I add some little crystal beads to the bottom? Let me know. 
DIY number two, I chose these lamps with the three tiers. I love these lamps the way they turned out also. Easy assemble, handsome devil, put it together with no problem. And they are absolutely gorgeous too. And they all come with their light bulb, nicely packaged. One box comes and then they boxed each separate. The lamps are each separately. You get two lamps. So when you open this and you pull this out, another box is inside. So it is well secured, well packaged, and you get everything you need to put this lamp together. So this is the modern LED shelf floor lamp. Now this first box that uh, Handsome Devil is opening, it does have all the shelves in it. The first shelf you see here, it's going to have the lighting and you know the wire to the light in the first shelf. And then it comes with three shelves that we add to the lamp. And then on the very bottom, it has the poles. So everything is nicely packaged. I was really pleased with all of this when I seen how everything was secure in the boxes. And then in the smaller box, we have the lampshade and everything, all the accessories and the tools that you need to put it together like the clips and the to put the wire for the clips on the poles and the L wrenches and the light bulb. So every lamp you order does come with a light bulb. So when you put it together, you're ready to go. Put your light bulb in. You don't have to go and get separate light bulbs. Handsome Devil's happy. So each panel is the length 15 inches. So we're going to cut the material the length 62. And then the width is 10 inches. So the width for cutting my material was 42 inches. So now I'm using Mod Podge and I use the gloss and I use satin. I'm going to get my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a little bead of glue, hot glue to each corner of my lampshade. And that's just to place my material so it doesn't move anywhere when I'm putting the Mod Podge down. So I lay it on top. I got this material from Walmart and it already comes pre-cut, but I did cut it to the inches that I needed it for the lampshade. And you've seen me, I'm very, very generous with my Mod Podge. I just pour it on top, spread it around, lay my material down, and then just rub all the wrinkles out, making sure it's a flat surface. So when it dries, it's nice and smooth. So now here I'm putting my Mod Podge on the other side of the panel and look at that. Spread it around, I'm very generous with it. And I do the same thing. And I'm gonna do that all the way around my lampshade to the very, so when I meet it all the way around, see that, and I'm gonna do that. And then I just close it up after it's done. I close the seam up with the Mod Podge and I took, I did put some Mod Podge underneath a little bit where it folds. So then I could just tuck in that little inch cause I went two inches more and I just tuck in the inch right there. So it has that nice seam on the bottom. See that how it goes and it's just, oh, it came out beautiful. And I'm using this Mod Podge sealant spray on top and I just spray it and then I get my hand and I just go right over it so it dries evenly in the front. See, oh, beautiful. And I just do it all around the lampshade. So once it's dry, look at that, oh, beautiful. See how I tuck the sides inward? The sides are all in, nice, ready to go. And now I'm just gonna get a bead of that glue 
So I'm going to put a little bit of that hot glue on the edge of the lampshade. And I'm going to use my BB Craft Lace and glue it right to the top of my lampshade. My goodness, my eyes were smiling and my heart was singing when I was done with this lampshade because what a difference just decorating and DIYing your lampshade to fit your decor. It doesn't have to be like this. You can always put a different material. You can paint it, whatever you like to match your decor, or you can leave the lamp just the way it came. But here you go. I did both lampshades that easy. It was very easy, quick, budget friendly. And look, matches my pillows. I love my pillows. So it matches my pillows. It has those stripes and the lace, the black lace up on top. In person, this film does not even give it justice. That's how gorgeous. I'm so happy with these lampshades. Kind of gives it a modern Tim Burton -y feel, gothic feel. Very happy with it. Like I said, you can decorate your lamps any way you want. You can even paint them if you like. But, oh, I am so pleased. Saving up for a new bed, so don't judge. I do need a new bed. <laughs> but I love my lamps. So, so beautiful. And I love the little tear trays because I can add a little touches of Miss Lini on there. Look, oh, is that beautiful. So I hope I inspired you to make any lamp you get into a gothic lamp or to fit your decor needs. Thank you to Adlon for gifting me with these beautiful lamps. They challenged me to do a Halloween gothic lamps. I hope I did well. I hope you all enjoyed my vision of a gothic and a Halloween lamp. Please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe i really love for you to be part of my crafty leany world family and if you like shabby chic check out leany shabby tuesday decor i do have a decor channel leany's world lifestyles on a budget hope you go visit me there also i post weekly videos here at crafty leany it was my pleasure crafting with you hugs kisses and fairy dust wishes lovelies stay kind be kind to yourself and others i'll see you in my next video